if you are a control freak watching this, then this is the video that is telling you you need to stop. You need to let go of the control and the fear and worry. I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can do that. If you are new here, my name is Hetty, and on this channel we discuss all things positive, high vibe, and how to use the law of attraction to manifest the life of your dreams. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any more content like this. Now, I will apologize for all of the background, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes, yes, I have filmed all my videos this week in one day because I've just got so much to do and I'm feeling the motivation for it right now, so I'm doing it. And this is all my stuff for moving house, so it's all a bit messy at the moment now today's video is all about how to stop being a control freak now i used to be the ma most biggest control freak and i didn't even realize it i had a lot of anxiety and ocd which is a huge part of control and it always meant that I was worrying all the time and trying to control outcomes and being attached to what was gonna happen in the future and stressing and um, not you know, allowing myself to live in the moment because I was being such a control freak and I wasn't letting myself just go with the flow of life. And I bet you're watching this and thinking, yes, you know, I wish I could just have a little pinch of that that other people have, you know, and they're just like, oh, you want to go there? Yeah, sure. I'm free. Let's just go. Now, I always used to be like, right, okay. And, um, you know, my friend's like, right, let's go out. And I think, oh my God, but I just need more time. Like, I just not fully ready for this. Like, control my God. Like, oh, how can this be so last minute? Or... I need to know what I'm doing this weekend. Like I need to have everything, I'm trying to stand this up. I need to have everything planned and everything, you know, there and then working out for me or, um, you know, I'm just, I can't go for it. I'm not gonna do it. Like that was the kind of mindset. <laughs> that was the kind of mindset that I was in and I was always stressing and worrying about what, mommy's trying to open the door what was going to happen and even you know i'd message people i'd think okay i'll wait for the response i'll wait for the response i'll wait for the response no i need to know right now i can't wait an hour i'm going to double text them i'm going to call them i'm going to triple text them whatever it was i was always like right okay need to know need to know just rather know and i just decided i realized okay oh my gosh i was such a control freak and i wasn't allowing so many incredible wonderful things to happen in my life because i was trying to control the outcome in the situation too much and by doing that i was actually creating a lot of what i didn't want because i was stressing and worrying and so you know law of attraction like attracts like i was attracting exactly that to me i was attracting the stressful end of the spectrum and the controlling end of the spectrum and when we try to control situations and other people then it always goes the opposite way for us because if you have ever been you know someone's tried to sort of control what you're doing before then you kind of want to turn around and say um right now i'm gonna do the total opposite then if you're gonna try and control me and force things then i'm just gonna do things the total opposite way so i've been learning and i'm still in the learning process don't get me wrong there is times where i have tried you know i thought all right i've let go of all control and then a situation happens and i've reverted back to my old self of trying to control the outcome in the situation and i'm still learning it is a learning process especially if you are a control freak then this is something that you might need to go through a few situations to realize you are still being a bit of a control freak. So how do you actually do that? So first recognizing it, I'm gonna take it off here, is so important because when we recognize it, that means that we are then able to actually change our behavior and we have understood, right, okay, my behavior, you know, isn't exactly, the best thing at the moment and i am going to change and have different behavior instead i'm not going to control it anymore so first is to recognize it 
Second, how do we actually get rid of the controlling behavior? So if it's things like you feel like you have to text someone all the time and you need a response, when we're waiting for those things and trying to control them, it often feels like it takes longer. So oftentimes I'll leave my phone and, um, you know, I won't take it everywhere with me. I'll put it on do not disturb. I will distract myself with other things. Um, I will allow myself to, you know, not have to worry and... I'm changing the angle of this video so much. <laughs> Trying to control the outcome as to how the frame looks, but whatever. Change the background of this video so much, but hey ho, I'm not going to try and control how it looks anymore. <laughs> so, second thing, like I said, is to just leave your things. You know, if it's your phone, leave it. If it's a situation, distract yourself, allow yourself to do something else break that habit it's the most difficult thing i used to find it with like trying to need to get answers from people excuse me and to then just think right i've got my phone i'll just do it i'll just message them and getting that impulse and just thinking just do it instead i'm trying to overcome that and break that cycle of behavior to be like right okay leave it for longer you know you don't need a response of them straight away it's not the most stressful thing i've been trying to control for example the outcome of my house at the moment I, you know i've been checking up chasing worrying stressing having to have that control i need to know a date i need to know what's going on this this and this and now i've just decided okay i'm going to give up all control I am not going to check my emails as often. I'm not going to call as often. Um, I'm not going to do certain things as often. Just let go of that control. And at first it's scary. Yes, it feels fearful and you feel anxious because you aren't used to acting in a way that's letting go of that control. The whole control is the reason, you know, it's your safety bubble. It helps you to you know potentially stop feeling anxious. You know, I had that, I have OCD. So that is something I've been very, you know, have to try and overcome of controlling situations ocd is a form of control when we felt like a loss of control in our life previously then we feel like we need to make up for that and we don't want anything to go wrong in the future so we have to control it but just to have an easy breezy flowing personality where we let up control it allows so much more fun to come into our lives so instead of planning so much ahead for the future allow things to unfold naturally allow people to you know make plans of you don't think i need to fill every second of my weekend like oftentimes i think right oh my gosh i've worked all week but i've not even got plans for the weekend i'm going to message everyone i know and try and get a plan for the weekend and then often when i was in that feeling people would come back and be like sorry i'm busy you know i can't really do anything or it wasn't what i wanted to do but then at the past few weekends i've just thought right i'm just going to sit back i'm not going to plan ahead so much i'm going to allow plans to just unfold for me i try not to even plan for the day even in work sometimes when i know i have an, up an upcoming meeting i'll try not to plan ahead too much what i'm going to say for that obviously you know you're organized and you you have the information you need to but i find that then those conversations and those situations come across so much more natural free flowing you actually get what you want out of the conversation you actually get the plans you want off the back of the conversations and of off the back of letting go of this control of having to have such a control like i'm doing this this and this i'm speaking to this this is going to be the outcome of this this and this and just allowing the universe to work it out for you if you've already asked for what you want consciously or subconsciously you don't have to literally sit there and say i want this to happen the universe knows you and feels what you want to actually truly happen and if you sit back and allow it to unfold that for you, it will come about in even more incredible ways than your mind can picture and imagine. Your mind can only imagine and create what has already happened in the world or in your life specifically. Your mind can only recreate that. It cannot create anything new. Where the newness and the funness comes from is where the universe comes through and creates these new situations for you into ways that you never even expected or imagined. So letting go of all control allows your life to be so much more fun, so much more flexible, so much more enjoyable. Everything that you will do will be filled with so much more happiness. You will have so much more fun with your friends or your partner or your family. Your relationships will improve because you pull away from that control and you allow every other person in your life or whoever it is to have the space to make those decisions for themselves. You know, instead of you trying to control the outcome of your relationship, those people have their own free will and then they will end up most likely, you know, forming to what your idea of what you want the outcome to be is anyway because they don't feel like that control like they have to because you have forced them to and they've just done it off their own free will so 
let go of all control. I was a massive control freak. I'm learning as well. If you have any more tips and tricks on how to let go of control or how you have managed to let go of control and how it has changed your life, then please leave it in the comments below. And give this video a like if you have enjoyed my content. It helps me to keep creating, you know, I like to know what you guys like. I look at what um, what people enjoy the most. Anyway, I just continue to be honest to create what I want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, until next time, keep spreading the positive vibes and love and I will see you soon. Mwah!